How odd. George was sure he'd <laughs> gathered more than that. <laughs> we don't need firewood, George. I have a microwave oven. Hunley thought either someone just took his picture, or that was lightning, which meant <laughs> rain. <laughs> Of course, Hunley had seen rain before. But city sidewalks never turned soft and gooey. To Hunley, all this nature was just not natural. Whoops! Don't worry. We're protected in here. What? Without power, I can't close the hatch. <laughs> well, I doubt that much water will get in anyway. <laughs> they didn't know how long it had rained because the clock in the trailer had stopped working. Until now, Hunley thought only George could make a mess this big. I left the top down. The rain ruined the auto navigator. It's too dark to find our way home without it. But we can't stay in that soggy trailer, either. It did seem hopeless. George wondered what an expert camper would do. George, but all of our sleeping bags are soaked. As an expert camper, George did know one thing hot enough to dry them. If you're thinking about building a fire with that, we can't. We need dry wood for that. Using the lighter in George's pack, the doorman was able to start a warm fire. But without electricity, he was unable to open a can. Ah! Then George remembered something else that campers do. They cook food on sticks. In the end, they all had a very satisfying meal and got a good night's sleep. <laughs> Even Hunley. Oh boy, I can't remember which way to go. They found their way using a monkey navigation system. <laughs> Left it is. George, you saved our trip. If you ever want to go camping again, just say the word. <laughs> so for the next week, George wore his backpack. All the time. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> and they all went camping together again. But this time, Hunley chose the campsite.
Hunley, the doorman's dachshund, loved his lobby to be clean and organized, just like him. Good morning, Hunley. Don't you look very shiny and sleek today? Being long and low made him an excellent finder of lost things. My keys! Thank you, Hundley. Dante says thank you, Hundley. Having sharp hearing, made him an excellent squeak detector. Good ears, Huntley. A doorman's door must look and sound perfect at all times. And his uniform must be spotless. But Hunley felt his most important job was to protect the place from George, the absolute opposite of all that is organized and neat. Hello. <laughs> Package for 217. Let's go, Hunley. 217. <laughs> Oh no! I'm out of uniform! Delivery! I rush right up! Right on time. I buy and sell autograph balls. Very expensive. This one's Freddy Frikikio. I have a lot more balls coming today. Valuable collector's items. Don't worry. Hundley and I will make sure they're safe. Out of uniform. Ugh. A doorman's uniform is as important as his door. Huh? What's wrong, Hundley? <laughs> Careful. That's full of... Oil. Oh, no! This is my last clean shirt! <laughs> a doorman must be spotless. I have to go to the dry cleaners. I won't be long. You're in charge, Hunley. <laughs> Hunley knew the first order of business. Watch George. <laughs> George never realized how much he liked the doorman's uniform. Hunley had never gotten a salute before. He must have been doing an exceptionally good job. Oh? <laughs> a doorman's uniform is as important as his door. Hunley had to get that monkey out of uniform. <laughs> but he still had a job to do. I see you have a new partner, Hunley. You're both so handsome. Time is of the essence. How quickly can you clean an oil stain? An oil stain about this size? An oil stain exactly that size. That exact oil stain. I, I have no idea until I try. Then try. I can wait because I know Hunley will keep the lobby in perfect order. <laughs> Hunley tried to get the coat off George. <laughs> Which is how he found out George was ticklish. <laughs>
George thought he recognized that tail racing toward him. But it couldn't be Hunley. Hunley would never go that fast. How many roller skating wiener dogs could there be in the city? It was over. Hunley was sorry he tried these wheel shoes on and never wanted to see them again. A dog on skates? What a talented little guy you must be. And so handsome. Then again, he did look good on those wheel shoes. With a little practice, he could be the talk of the town. Good dog! <laughs> Hunley could think of nothing worse than skating down the sidewalk out of control with a cat on his back. Until... Whoa! That cat's skateboard is, like, made of dog! Gnocchi <laughs> realized that when the boy leaned, he could steer. So maybe she should try it. George thought he recognized that flying dog. But it couldn't be Hunley. Hunley wouldn't fly. Then again, how many skating, flying, wiener, dog, and cat teams could there be in the city? George thought this was a good time to show Hunley how to stop. No matter what George did, they kept going faster and faster. <laughs> he couldn't imagine how they were ever going to stop. <laughs> then he could. Hanley, I've been worried. Where have you? You are a muddy mess. Ooh. Looks like he's not the only one. We can't have the tenants see us like this, Hundley. I'll get a towel and get you cleaned up, boy. Time for you to clean up too, George. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. George? Hunley was sure if that monkey and cat hadn't been around, he could have learned to skate. Say, weren't there two pairs of skates? Must have been my imagination. Time to go home. But where was home? 
George realized that finding someone works better if you're not lost too. Hunley worried. What if he never found his way back? Oh, Hundley, what'll I do without Hundley? <laughs> Hundley and George weren't just lost. They were lost at night. They may not be able to see their way home, but maybe they could hear their way home. George tried to remember the noisy stuff he'd passed. Here they were, lost at night, and all this monkey could do was whatever that was. Then Hunley had an idea. They might not be able to see their way home, but maybe they could hear their way home. He tried to remember what he'd heard. Now it was up to Hunley's powerful dog ears. That wasn't the right sound. So the musician couldn't be in that direction. That was either the wrong sound or the musician got his tongue caught in his trumpet. Hunley knew they were getting closer because the sound was growing louder and louder. But then it grew softer and softer. <laughs> Hunley tried to figure out how to explain they'd passed the sound. But there are some things a dog just can't explain to a monkey. And so, by working together as a team, George remembering what they had heard, and Hunley using his sensitive, powerful dog ears, Hunley and George found their way back to the alley behind their home. They were home thanks to teamwork. Hunley couldn't remember why he ever thought George was trouble. Rug's all clean, sir. You should see the dirt I picked up. This barrel probably has the filthiest water in the world in it. George really wanted to see the filthiest water in the world. 